Alright guys, I'm back. This is my WWE Raw review for the 19th of the 8th, 2013. Well, I think it's the 19th. Yeah, 2013. 2013. And this was a really, this was a okay Raw. I didn't really, this was an okay Raw for me. I don't think it was a, a good Raw. I just thought it was an okay Raw. So, I didn't really think, some of the matches were okay, but nothing was special here. Like, I didn't think... I don't know something I didn't like about Raw. I like the I like the stable between St uh, the McMahon's and Triple H and Orton. I think that's really good. How that's playing out as Orton's turning heel, and I like how Triple H is turning heel. But they're slowly they're not heels yet, but they're slowly turning them s slow heels. So I like that. So we start off the show with Stephanie. We start off with Cena coming out. Cena said that he's injured and he's got to take some time off for this. He said he's got to take some time off. He said he he's got to be for he's going to be out. He's going to be injured for, till he's going to be injured to uh, he's going to be out for four to six months. Then he calls up D. Brian. D. Brian comes out. He says that uh, well, well, he try, D. Brian say, tries to say he he tries to say something, but Stephanie comes out. She says that he got screwed last night, and he, she says that she she was so, uh, sorry that he got screwed. She says that he was screwed. She calls him a B plus, uh, but she, she says uh, she and then she calls um she uh she, then she calls the security the security guards to she she, te she, uh, she tells the security guards to take D out of the building. Then um the, oh, oh yeah oh oh yeah forgot about something guys. Kind of um, D. D. Brian says that if uh, D. Brian said if Stephanie fired him, he will go back to the Indies and he'll sell cars and he'll sell T-shirts in his cars. Stephanie said uh, then he gets in the face and Stephanie calls security to, to take him out of the building. So this was a good segment by um, by by Stephanie and D. Brian. I really like this. Stephanie got some heel heat, which was really good. And I like how D. Brian got an, an, an uh, another sorry stumble here crowd reaction. I'm glad how he got a great crowd reaction again here. Um, D. Brian got a great crowd reaction. The first match tonight was Sandow versus Rhodes, and and this was a okay ma this was a, this was an okay match. It went better than the the one they had at SummerSlam. Um, then we um, Co Sandow hits an elbow, then Cody. I think I think Sandow Sand was trying to like hit, uh, hit like I think was it a suplex but tried to hit a crossbody but then he and then Cody um, uh, hit the crossbody but Cody gets hit uh, Cody hits uh, Cody rolls up Sandow for the winner somewhere in it. Then we see Sandow backstage. Maddox tell Maddox puts Dolph in the match against the Shield. It's a three on one handicap match. Segment Heyman, never see segment Heyman says that Punk beat uh, Punk got beat by Lesnar last night. He says that um, if Punk, uh, he says that Heyman's been a far figure. Heyman says that he's been a far figure to Punk. He says that if Punk wants to, it, it says all that Punk has to do is apologize and then he'll take him back. So it kind of looks like at, at um, no champions is going to be. Axel vs Punk, and I think this is kind of like a mini feud for Punk. So then, um, so I think this is kind of like a mini feud for Punk till Survivor Series. Then, then WWE creating can like um, have a feud with Brock again. That's what I just think, because Punk's not, Punk's not just not, just not gonna. He's gonna definitely get his win back uh, sooner than later. So I'm gonna say a Survivor Series is gonna be Punk and Lesnar, but for the time being, for this short, I think this is gonna be a short feud. Um, just you know, this is like a short feud for Punk. Then he can go into then he can feud with Lesnar. Uh, the and then we see the Bells backstage telling the Funk Titles that they gotta win the match tonight. Second match tonight was the tag team match. It was the Funk Titles versus Layla and K AJ. Uh, the Funk Titles were win by roll up. It was an okay match. Third match tonight was. The Shield vs. Dolph uh, it was a three-one handicap match. The Shield vs. Dolph. This was a good. This was a good match here. But why was the why was the why was the Shield looking weak in a three-on-one handicap match? Why? It was the three-on-one. Wait a minute. Yeah, three-on-one. So why was they looking weak? 
We only had to beat one guy. What the hell was this? I mean, I think this year I've lost a lot of credibility and a lot of direction. I don't think the Dirty Fifteen don't know what they're doing with these guys right now. It's kind of like it's a bit sad that the the, the that the Shield don't have any story, uh, any feuds or any storyline or any direction because look at look how they, they were very strong great last year when they debuted then they've de they've they've defeated I I think they've defeated like three former world champions they've defeated Undertaker they've, they've defeated Sheamus defeated John Cena they've defeated Rock Randy Orton Ryback and now the the they're struggling to win a 3 on 1 handicap match. Are you freaking serious? <sighs> anyway, um, Reigns hits, um, Dolph hits a Fame Master on Reigns, and then Reigns hits a Spear for the win. And also in this match, um, also in this match, I think uh, Rollins maybe tweaked his knee because he did land a bit funny after Dolph threw him out of the ring, so I, I hope he's okay. But, um, yeah, he did get injured. Uh, he did. Uh, he didn't get injured, but it was okay after. It was okay um, after in the next match. But yeah, uh, then we see uh, then the fourth match is Dolio vs Sin Cara. Not really. Sin Cara botches a move. No surprise there. Um, then Del, uh, then uh, the rest has to start the match. Then Del Rio says that he's the greatest world champion. Then Ricardo comes out. He calls it RVD. So he kind of looks like RVD and Ricardo together now as a. As a so it kind of looks like they've Ricardo with RVD now, which I'm okay with, but at least they have two things in common. They like um, smoking, they, they, they like smoking some weed, so that's something, to, that's something that, that, that they got in common, so, yeah. Then um, RVD tries to hit a five-star five frog splash, but Ricard, uh, then uh, Del Rio escapes. Then the fifth match in that was PTP versus the Real Americans. This was a an okay match here. Kind of looks like the. I mean, this was a good match, but it kind of looks like the PTP are turning face. So the PTP win with the Gut Buster for the win. Uh, then we see seven backstage. We see, yeah, Big Show says that him and Henry are going to go for the. We see seven. We see seven backstage. Renee interviewed. Big Show, Big Show says that he's him and Henry are gonna take the tag the tag titles off Reigns and Rollins. He, uh, Maddox says that he made some calls about Triple H, so he, he he's putting him in a three one handicap match against the Shield. But the, but this time they're all gonna be in the ring together. So yeah. Then we see Fandango take some sneakers off. Uh, take some sneakers. Then we see set by stage. Ryback is bullying somebody else now. It's uh, it's 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 it's, uh, it's uh, he comes to this guy and he says, "Why are you in my locker room?" He says, "Get out my locker room." He says, "Pick up your bag." And then he picks up his bag. He throws it into the shower. He throws it into the showers. He tells this guy to put the put his open his bag and put the shower on. So he tells. He tells this guy to put sh that water in his bag. I don't know where they're going with Ryback. Like I said in my in my review of Slime, I don't know where they're going with Ryback. He's had no feud, no storylines, and no direction. That's it. And then the second match now was Bray Wyatt vs. Our Truth. This was um, another quick match, another squash match. Bray Wyatt hits the scissor out of the deal for the win. Eighth match tonight was. 3MB was a tag match. 3MB, 3MB members Slater and Jinder versus the Usos. The Usos hit Splash for the win. Didn't care about this match. Next ma ninth match of the night. Ninth match of the night was The Miz versus Wade Barrett. Barrett um, um, Miz wins by DQ because Fandango hit, hit Miz with a leg drop. This was a, a match I didn't care about. Two guys, or well, three guys, they're not really using Fandango. It looks like it's in a few with Miz, but they're not really pushing up Miz. And Miz ain't over with the crowd anyway, so. And Barrett, he's jobbing to the Miz. So that's all I can say about that. And then in the segment, and then the last segment of the night was a was the championship coronation of Brandy Orton. Uh, then, so, so Triple, H, Triple H, Stephanie, and Vince come out. They have all the wrestlers on the ramp. They have the Shield as bodyguards. 
that's probably why I do it. So they have the shield of bodyguards, they have the rascals on the ramp. Uh, then Travoy says that he had to screw uh, D. Brian. For, he said he screwed D. Brian for business. He said he had to screw. He had to um, screw D. Brian. He said he he screwed D. Brian because um, did that. He screwed D. Brian for Vince. He said that he did what what was right for business. For business. He said. Uh, yeah. He says that he's a fan of D. Brian. And he said he likes he likes his he likes his in ring style. And then he calls out, and then Randy Orton comes out. He calls out Randy Orton. Uh, Orton says he didn't. Nobody will knew. Nobody knew when he was going to cash in. Then the G, then D. Bryant, then Triple H calls out D. Bryan. D. Bryan comes out. He um. Oh yeah. The, then the Shield attack D. Bryan. Uh, D. Bryan fights off the Shield for a bit, but he gets he gets off, he gets he tries to get in the ring, but Reigns hits the spear on D. Bryan. Then um he he, he d and then he does get in again he does get in the ring again and then he gets hit with an RKO this with an RKO this was awesome I enjoyed our Randy on RKO D brand this was awesome and I I thought this segment was a long segment Triple H mostly did all the um, talking in this segment uh, Vince didn't really say that much in this segment um Orton turning here was Orton's Orton and Triple H's heel turn is getting there it's getting there not fully heels yet. But they're, they're getting, they're not fully turned as heels, but they're, they're, they're getting booze. So that's the start of Orton and Triple H's heel turn. So yeah, Raw's a good show this week. Matches, some matches that I didn't care about, like Miz and Barrett. And what's that other match I didn't care about? Bray Wyatt and R Truth. I didn't care about that match either. Um, so, some, uh, this was an okay show. Um, I like the end segment between, Triple, between the uh, McMahons and Orton and Triple H and D Ryan. I like that segment. Overall, the show is a kind of a boring. Sh this overall, the show is kind of a really okay show. But I didn't really like it. So, what do you guys think about the show? Leave a comment in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Brag out.